Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agreement Soft Research Company and I'm here to teach you about SOAT model input. Um, so I have made a lot of videos um, describing how to make these inputs but I never made a video to tell you uh, what are all the inputs you need to make your model. So now I'm here to uh, tell you that and so let's keep going on. The first input for your SWAT model is the DEM map. So as you can see, this is the DEM map showed here. And um, it is used when you click on water delineation. And the first thing you should inform to your uh, model is the DEM. So SWAT does all uh, the um, upcoming processes using your DEM map. So it's so important. Um, it's better to have a high resolution DEM um, so you have um, all these processes done better. And it's so important that you that your DEM map covers all your study area, covers all the places you are uh, going to work on later. So that's the DEM. It's super easy to have this DEM map and I have already made a video uh, showing you how to prepare this one for your SWAT model, so just go through it. The next input you need for making your SWAT model is the point sources. So it's, it's optional, it's not necessary, but it has a lot impact on your results. So if you want um, accurate results at the end, you need to have these point sources informed to your SWAT model. So uh, uh, what you're going to do is to uh, make an Excel file with um, columns as UTMX and UTMY and then convert it to DBF so it can understand and it can um, read your file. Uh, then th there's something like this on your map. So here uh, it doesn't um, understand the withdrawals. You don't give the information about withdrawals. It's um, in upcoming steps so it's not it's not for here here you just say this is a well or this is um i don't know spraying here and these things okay so that's for point sources um another swat model input that you should provide is the land use land use in is an essential part of your swat model it's very important to have an accurate map to uh, define all these classes very uh, perfectly and like accurately and then um it's used in here when you want to uh, define the land use soils in slopes um, he, the first thing it gets is the land use data so you um, upload your uh, land use grid here and then you should um, choose the grid field and then here uh, you should provide the lookup table so if you want to know how to provide your land use and how to make your land use map you can go to my video i have uploaded and i have teached the um, process you should go through for having this land use the next thing you should have as swap model input is the soil map so the soil map is again very important. Uh, soil maps and land use maps are used to um, estimate the CN value and CN curve. Uh, so it's too important to have an accurate map for this one as well. So here you just upload the soil grid and then uh, choose the grid field and here uh, soil database option you should put on user soil if you have provided it yourself and then you have a lockup table 
that you say which class is which. So in the lookup table, you should go to database of your soil model to see what are the uh, soil classes in the database. It should be um, like aligned with each other. What you uh, write in the lookup table should be should should reference to something in your database. Um, just like as um, land use. Another model input for your SWAM model is the um, uh, weather data and weather stations and um, you can see that here in weather data definition window uh, it has um, like different segments solar radiation data, wind speed data, weather generated data, rainfall and uh, temperature and relative humidity. So in my opinion, these two data are very important and very essential. And uh, these two data, rainfall data, precipitation, and temperature data. But the solar radiation, wind speed, relative humidity, of course, if you have the accurate data, it's very, um, it could be very helpful, you know. But if you don't have, don't panic, it's no problem. The SWA model itself can simulate, it, can simulate the missing data or the data you cannot provide. But um, if you want my opinion, don't make SWAT model to simulate rainfall and temperature. Provide rainfall and tem temperature data and provide accurate data if you want accurate results. If we want to say like 50% of um, functionality and um, simulations of model is based on these two parameters and it's so important so important so important so if you're new to SWAT and if you don't know what is going on in model making uh, I think it will help you to understand what are the things you need um, in the um, upcoming steps so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new uh, please subscribe to agrimatsoft channel and like this video and i will see you in the next video bye